best kept secrets travel. Whilst you're in Australia, these are some of the top experiences that we've either experienced or we know other people have experienced. And they're just everything from the first one we've got a 1770 Middle Island castaway experience poo with a view. So most people won't really know what it is. It's the time Morgan and I drove an old army lark vehicle. Mm -hmm. for, uh, for used in the Vietnam War for transporting troops. Yes. And it was just insane. We drove this. Yeah, we van. actually got to drive it. So we drove, actually drove it. So we've got photos which we'll be showing whilst we're talking. He drove it on the road, then into the sea, and then along the beach. And when we were on the beaches, then we were allowed to drive a little bit. And then this castaway island, unlike anywhere else you've been before, you feel like you're fending for yourself. You just. It's a bit like COVID, really. You don't see anyone for days. Yeah, so and then, the experience is a castaway experience. So they leave you on the island. You you can see boats pass every once in a while, but you're there alone, and we have this bloke. Um, I can't actually remember his name, but there's this guy who's there who's trying to sort of look after you. And there's so many activities you can do from... He takes you out on a mini sort of motorboat and then you go dune boarding into the water, which I've never done before. And which we have some funny photos. We were fishing, we were kayaking, we kayaked across the river and then started hitting wild oysters wild off a oysters, rock. Yeah. There's just it's Loads insane. Of kangaroos, there was the lighthouse we walked up to. We sat around this campfire and then this possum turned up and he said, Oh, it's my friend, so we which is a it. wild possum it was completely wild possum then it just came and sat on the corner and he'd give it a couple of bits of fruit and it was insane it was crazy and one of one of the craziest experiences and i still to this day i assume it was true but one of the first things he told us when when we arrived was that if you see this snail do not touch it because it will paralyze you well, i don't know if he was just trying to scare us i know he probably was <laughs> and and that and we and that was we later found out when we were actually because when we went fishing we actually went and got our own bait yeah which was really cool so we we had these pumps and there were all these like wormhole things pumps will look a bit like this and then what you do is you press down the pump onto the small so these are a type of um, crustacean they're a small kind of shrimp and then you pull up the pump, which compresses small vacuum internally. So it sucks up all the mud and then you shoot it to one side and then you hand pick out the small little creatures. Then but we what, hit them on and caught a few fish. Yeah, but what he told us was that this snail, if you touch it, can paralyze you if it, if it shoots its venom at you, which in Australia, it's you believable. It. Yeah, we, we have no idea. But when we were fishing for these bait, we looked... And it was it was barely twenty yards out from the shore. There were hundreds of them, all over the seabed. It was it was crazy, and that that was slightly disconcerting because we we'd walked across from a different place uh, when the tide was out because we went to the other side of the island. And just to think that we could have so comfortably walked across that, it was slightly slightly worrying. 